This is Darshna Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 9th, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up by 0.81 points or 0.19% to 418.73. Total trading volume was light and lower than yesterday, with 76,465 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 364.4 million Khmer real or roughly 88,500 US dollars. On the main board, four stocks were up. Grand Twins International led the market with a 9.76% or 280 real rise to 3,150 real per share. Both Pestec Cambodia and CamGSM were up by 0.41% or 10 real individually, while the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority was up 0.28% or 20 real to 7,060 real per share. On the downside, Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ was the biggest percentage loser of the day, down 1.30% or 30 real to 2,270 real per share, followed by the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port, which was down 1.16% or 200 real to 17,040 real per share. The Sienicville Autonomous Port was also down 0.49% to 12,160 real per share, while MJQ Education and Acleda Bank once again remained flat. On the growth board, DVD Engineering stayed flat while JS Land was down 1.36% or 50 real to 3,630 real per share. CamGSM recorded the highest trade volume of the day with 21,097 shares changing hands at a total value of 51.5 million real or 12,500 US dollars, equivalent to 23.9% of total shares traded on the market on July 9th. Acleda Bank followed second with 16,954 shares changing hands, accounting for around 19% of the day's trade volume, while retaining its status as the stock with the highest daily trade value of 127.6 million real or 31,000 US dollars. The Khmer real weakened slightly to 4,119 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was up to 105.05, edging higher from its lowest levels in almost a month versus major peers in the previous session. The euro held its ground after Monday's sharp swings as investors came to terms with a hung parliament in France, which points to a potential political gridlock, but lessens fiscal concerns stemming from outright far-right or leftist victories. Oil prices slipped on Tuesday after Hurricane Barrel, which hit a key U.S. oil-producing hub in Texas, caused less damage than markets had expected, easing concerns over supply disruption. Brent futures fell 49 cents or 0.6% to 85.26 US dollars a barrel, while US West Texas Intermediate crude slipped 54 cents or 0.7% to 81.79 US dollars. Gold prices ticked higher on Tuesday with investors awaiting comments from the US Federal Reserve Chair and US June inflation data for further cues on the direction of interest rates. Spot gold was up 0.2% at 2,363.69 US dollars per ounce. US gold futures firmed 0.3% to 2,370.80 US dollars. US stock index futures rose with mega cap technology and semiconductor stocks set to prolong Monday's rally. The S&P 500 and the Nasdaq inched upwards to close at record highs on Monday, lifted by the rally in chip stocks as the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index rose to a more than two-week high. Dow was up 0.12%, S&P 500 0.24%, and Nasdaq 0.40%. This was Darshan Agauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 9th.